what? Smack! Boom! Action. Huh? Huh? Hmm? It's like Hollywood shit here. Hollywood. Smack! We're back. All right, here we go. Hey, how's everybody doing today? I am back with an over under just to make everybody happy because they didn't go away. So we're going with an over under. We're going with one that started. Oh hell. I don't know how long ago. A long time ago. Back in 10 series, back when you guys were talking about it, you everybody wanted Avid. Everybody wanted that Avid 20. Let's get an Avid one. So what we try to do. This is a long story. Are you ready? I'm not gonna get fully into detail, but we ended up getting it. Somebody did a factory tour from Avid. Somebody comments, you should do Avid. I just did the factory tour. Talked to the owner, the owner was like, yeah, I'd love him to do it, perfect. Shortly after that, the owner, the man, Philip Faulkner, emails us and says, I would love for you guys to do that. So, all right, let's do it. Eight months ago or 10 months ago, whatever the hell it was, we've been, wink, 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 I don't know, fast forward. <laughs> Like 30 damn times. I get the same answer every time I call. Abbott Baltz. Yeah, Philip available. Uh, he's in a meeting. Oh, take my name and number. If he didn't get any of these messages, there is 30 messages there probably. Well, let's just be light. Let's be light. 15, 20 messages there from a guy named Andy Hauser, who is this guy right here that is wanting to know if you could give me a review on your Avid 20 XP. It's the same message, same damn message. Every time he's in a meeting, he might be that popular where he's in that many meetings, but I called on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. I never called on the weekend because I don't want to deal with that. One day a week, I should have been able to get it. One day, that's all I asked for it was one goddamn day. We couldn't get it. So you kind of know where this video is going to go. You didn't call me back. You didn't email me back. You called me first. I called you second. We had this thing we were gonna work out. It's gonna be great. Everybody's gonna love it. I'm gonna love your boat. Everything's gonna be perfect. From what I hear from your boat, it's a great boat, but I can't get through to anybody except for the same lady that answers the phone, Avid Boats. How may I, may I help you? That lady. I don't even know what her name is. You know her name? Sherry, Shelly, Billy, Bob? I, I don't fucking know. It's just a waste of time at this point. Let's get to the boat. I would have been really excited, but I'm not excited. But here we go, Avid 20 XP. We found one. Where the hell is this at? Sunny's. Sunny's Marine in Orlando, Florida. Hotter than hell down there. Probably, well, we're hot here today too, but we got a 2021 20 XP, what we want. It's Sunny's. It's got a 200 SHO with options of an 80 Altrex and a seven at the console. Nothing up front. You get a cover, you get a hot foot with a slide plate. You get a jack plate, Atlas. You get blinker trims and you get C-Deck for $52,287. $52,000 we're going with. $52,000 with the options that we got. But we don't know if we can do any of this stuff. So what we're comparing this to is we had the Express video, we loaded that boat up and we came up with a price. So we're taking what we did to the Express, figuring we could probably hopefully do it without a little bit of Bow, bow, bow. Doo, doo, doo. Bow. any of that crap but we don't know why because no one gets back to us we can't get a hold of anybody so we're gonna wing it here we go let's wing it <laughs> left wing all right trolling motor batteries we went with the Altrex 112 because you know what we did with the 80 drink threw it in the garbage we didn't want it no more because we want to go where we can go through the mud we want to fight current no 80 on our boat plus it's 20 foot we should be able to put in 36 volt on we dropped our 331s in we put our charger in, same one we've always done. So we don't know if we can get four batteries in the back of that configuration, but we're gonna do it anyway. Why, why don't we know? No one gets back to us. No one wants to call us. No one wants to say, no, you can't do that. So fuck it, we'll just wing it. We'll just do it the way we want to. All right, so console electronics. We got a Helix 7 up there at our console. It's cut, it's a nice console. It's designed to put one in dash. So we're hoping that we can take and side-by-side -side mount with a mount from Precision and get it on there we don't know though why don't we know because no one will call us back so we put the two hat tens on we took the seven and chucked it out in the pond back behind the shop here because it was junk so we got the two set the two tens on there the bow electronics this one comes with nothing it's just plain jane nothing 
we're we're thinking we can put two up there, but we don't know. Why? Somebody else say it right now, because nobody will call us back. Avid hates us. So we're gonna drop our two te our two 12s up front um, with the Mega 360, and there's nothing up there to take off, so it's pretty easy. We need to just swing and kick. Miscellaneous. We don't even know if we can put poles on it. I I'm thinking we can put poles on it. We don't know if we can put poles on it. We don't know. Why don't we know? I'm not even gonna say it. You should be able to say it all on your own right now. Jordan will put in right down here. No one will call us back. Swoom! That's what Jordan will do for me. But, so we're gonna put two poles on it. No clue if we can do it. Cover, hot foot. Uh, we're gonna keep everything else the same. Obviously we're using precision mounts on it up front and at the console. The trailer options, I'm not even really impressed with the trailer options, but it does come with mag wheels with a matching spare. So we got the ratchet tie downs, tandem axle trailer, swing away tongue with the mag wheels, all right? So here's the deal. This boat starts at 52,000. We take our options and pile it in for another $17,850, the price of a new freaking car, seems like. Then we deducted the 3,600 of the junk we threw all away. So we took the 80, threw it off, took the seven, threw that in the garbage. And uh, yeah, and the three, ba three bank charger, we also threw that. So we got all that, we got $3,600 $3, credit, which brings our grand total of the Avid 20XB which I've never seen, which is why I wanted a phone call, which I've never touched, which is why I wanted a phone call, never even smelt it. I don't even know. I, I like the way they look. I've heard good reviews. People have wanted this video, and all we've done is tried, 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 and tried. This is, we've tried the hardest to do this video. Literally the hardest. Everybody else has called us back within five, three, two, one, maybe. Philip Faulkner won't call me back. Rick Pierce answered my phone call with one ring. Uh, that's not the same guy, but I mean, Rick Pierce knows the justification of customers calling. But, <clears throat> so grand total, after we deduct the $3,600 in credit, 66,537 bucks, 665 for a 20 footer with a 200. The Express was a 21 footer with a 250. See how I did that? Sign language? Did that? I don't know if that's sign language. Is that sign language? 250? That's pretty cool. I did that real off the top of my head. Poof! It just came to me. So, 65 ish for a 21 with a 250 or 66 ish with a 200 and a 20 footer? 67. 67 for the Express. Okay, so I'm, I'm off by 500 bucks. Okay, we got $500 difference here between the 66.5 and the 67. I get a 250, I get 21 feet. I get a 200, I get 20 feet. Uh, maybe Avid's build is a little bit stronger and better, but Express got back to me. Saved by the secretary? That one was saved by a secretary, right? Oh, is she in sales? Oh, yeah, she is in sales, but she saved the day. Um, that one was drifting kind of towards this one was. I think, I really think Avid makes a good boat. I don't know though, because I wasn't able to talk to anybody about how it's built, the little things, the things I like to talk about, the engineering. Why, 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 why does no one call me back? You just fall right down to the bottom of the damn list and I don't want to do it, but I have to do it because you won't get back a hold of me. I waited like 10 damn months for this video. We tried numerous times to get a hold of you and you, no one still got back to me. I didn't give a shit if it wasn't Philip that called me. Somebody take his message and go, I need to call this guy. Now you're gonna get this kind of review. I think I like the boat, I like some colors. Um, trailer's a trailer, 67,000. Because of your customer service, you are overpriced. You're overpriced because I couldn't, I, I mean, that's, that's the deal here, that's the deal. Customer service is the deal. I wish it would've gone better, but it didn't. I wish I could've said, go get yourself an Avid boat. I, I can't tell you if you should get one or not because I don't know, no one wants to talk to me, so. I guess at this point, I got a sheet of paper in front of me. I waited too long to do this one. I kept telling Jordan, no, let's just wait. Let's just wait, let's just wait. Somebody will get back a hold of us. I really want to do this one. All right, done, it's over. It's over with, pissed off. See, can't you see my mad face? Hot, pissed off. Jordan making me do it on the hottest day of the year so far. Yeah, not good, avid, why? Why, why did you do this to me? I wanted to do a great review, but I can't. So 66.5, you're overpriced, 20 footer, 200. I don't care what even's on it, doesn't matter. 
No one got a hold of me. I can't talk about the boat. Piss me off. I just, I'm mad. I'm mad. Solely on an opinion, on my personal opinion for this, because of customer service, because if I was you, you people watching this right now, and I owned one of these boats, I certainly would want to know that the owner of the company would take a little bit of time to get a hold of me if I had a problem. Granted, I didn't have a problem. Granted, he's never talked to me, but he knew. He emailed us. He knew what he was dealing with. We emailed him how many times? A lot. We emailed him, right? We emailed him back. We Did we have a personal cell phone too? Did we try that? I think we did. No, we did not. Well, we didn't have a personal cell phone, but we kept calling the shop. We called it, like I said, one time, I think we called it every day of the week once. Different times of the day, just trying to boom, 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 boom. Maybe he's that busy. Okay, I get it. But you had time to email us one time. You could have emailed us back again. Just given me to the person I needed to talk to. I never even got that. So I'm sorry. I apologize. I hope, uh, I hope I didn't wreck anybody's day, but I wish I could have given you a better review on Avid. But I can't because just can't do it. Don't know enough. But I think they're overpriced just because they're customer service. And if I was you, seeing what I went through to try to get you this review, I'm just trying to get you a review. You're buying a boat. Things should happen a little bit better. So, Avid, I don't know. You still got time. You can always call me and say, look, can we redo that? Part two. Avid part two. We could do that. I'm okay with that. Hey, if any of you guys are around Sonny's Marina in the Orlando area, just swing into Sonny's. Take a look at that boat. Tell us what you think. Comment. Say, hey, I live right by there. I'll go swing by and take a look at it for you. Do something like that. Maybe snap us some pictures of what it looks like in the back. Get us something. Let's head out to Sonny's Marine and take a look at that. As always, comment. If you got one, comment. Say, hey, I love this boat. I probably could learn more from you guys than I can the owner. So, if you got one, comment on it. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you went through. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if it's great. Tell me if it broke. Tell me if I can do 36 volts. Let me know, let people know. Maybe it's through all of that stuff, you guys can get uh, more info on the Avid Boat because Lord knows I can't get any. I just, no one wants to call me back. But as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness. I don't know, probably Philip Faulkner's not saying right now, speed, money, and no breaks. I'm out, see ya.